Moo! Welcome everybody to Star Ocean, part number nine. In the last part, we defeated the pirates in the pirates' cave. Now we should be able to cross the sea. Across the sea, I hear you calling me. Yes, and we're gonna go to the other continent. So here we go. You, you actually got rid of them? You know that it. We did. Oh, thank you so much. You have no idea how much this helps us. I've got to repay you. Well, would you mind taking us to the Kingdom of Astral, then? Oh, no problem. You can all board free of charge. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, I'm ready to go right now. Actually, as a little side note, I'm going to tell you I've already been to the shops. I've restocked my blueberries. I've restocked my blackberries. I even went and bought the martial arts outfit. For Ilya there, because she needs some more defense. And um, I think we're pretty much ready to go. You want to go to what do you call it? Atom? No, that's not what. Oh, Atom. That's the name of the town. It's the Kingdom of Astral, though. But um, yeah, we're heading off to Atom. Let's sail. Sailing, sailing over the ocean blue. So, this oh, is what Astro quick. looks like. Where do you think Millie and the captain could be? Who knows? We'll just have to search through every town until we find them. It would be nice if we had something to go on. Well, don't look at me. Let's try paying a visit to the castle after we've looked around the town. You people, travelers. You could say that. Where'd you come from? I don't see any tail on you. Oh, I come from Kratz, and, uh, I lost my tail in a childhood accident. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to bring it up. <clears throat> no problem. I am Fia Mel, knight in service of Astral Kingdom. My name's Elia, and he's Roddick. Good to meet you. You must pardon me for being rude. Allow me to guide you to Astral City. The roads here are fraught with danger. Hmm. What do you think, Roddick? Hmm. Absolutely, or thanks, but... Um, you want to say absolutely, because, well, this is Fia, and you're not... There's another person that you can recruit, not right now, but later on in the game. I've actually never recruited her in any playthrough, but this is somebody I do want to get later on in the game. Uh, so this will be all new to me if I do recruit her. But um, you only get Fia in this instance temporarily if Cs is not with you. Because this next area, the difficulty level jumps very quickly. And I would recommend a level of at least 15 to 20 to get through this next area, but um, having Fia with you really helps. So absolutely. Sounds great to me. Thank you very much. So you don't get the uh, party music. That's when they, you know, it'll, it'll, there'll be some real party music when they join, but um, this is just a temporary join. You can look around town, you can talk to different people, there's not really that much to do here. Uchianum? I don't even know what that is. It's a type of metal. Hmm. Alright. Mm. With gravity. That's just nice. There's, there's not a lot to do here. Um, I think we have all the items we want. I, oh yeah, I also bought some skills back in town, which um, we're not going to use yet, but eventually they will come up. What I am looking for is... Oh, here's a skill set here. I think there are some new ones here I can purchase. Do I have knowledge already? Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, well, okay. I'll, I'll buy knowledge later then. What I am looking for is... Um, where's the inn in this town? You want to stay at the inn before you leave. Not only for maximum power, you want to rest up, but you're gonna, in this instance, you're gonna get, you should get a little cutscene. So, rest up.
any for your thoughts. Oh, I'm sending a prayer to the gods in their holy sanctuary. Sanctuary? Oh, right. That's how your people refer to outer space, isn't it? Well, I'm sorry if this is a touchy subject, but what if I were to tell you that you were in outer space, or what you call your holy sanctuary? Would you still believe in your gods? You see, to people like us, religion or the existence of gods, they're all just old relics that we've let go of centuries ago. I know you're from a world where everyone's far more advanced than us, Ronix. But I don't think that makes you right. How do you mean? There's more to life than just what we can see or hear. Don't you think so? I suppose so, yes. From our perspective, the fact that Roke exists at all, I mean, it almost seems like some sort of crazy fairy tale. saying you don't believe in this world, Ronix? After everything that happened to Dorn and my father, you're telling me it's all just a fantasy? You have no idea how I wish it were all just a dream. Uh, no, no, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I was just trying to say, you know, I just can't believe that I'm actually in this fantasy world. Why don't you try learning the art of symbology? I only know how to use healing symbology, though. Are you serious? Totally. I mean, maybe you think this power is something only we can take advantage of. But if you learned it, then maybe you'd be able to believe for yourself. I mean, the whole world is connected, united as one. Yes, you're probably right. <laughs> of course I am. So there you get that little scene with uh, Ronix and Millie, just to know that they're still alright. And Ronix apparently is going to try to learn some symbology. That might come in handy when we finally meet up with him again. Now there's really nothing else to do in this town. How the hell do we get out of it? Is this the exit? I think it is. Yes, we have now left town. It's a long freaking way to the next town where we're trying to go. And we're probably going to run into cell fights along the way. Um, I'll show a couple. Maybe I'll start to cut. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll show a couple just because the difficulty level behind is about us. to increase. They're behind us. Oh crap, they are behind us. Winky winky. Anyways, I've never had Fia on my team before, except for temporarily, but she's apparently pretty powerful. So, yeah, um, that's gonna be pretty good. Look at her, she's got a lot of power. And, um, yeah, Ilya is almost dead already. Like, seriously. She's using hand to hand combat, but yet, you know, she can't really defend herself that well. I think once I get the ability, I don't really use Ilya that much, but, um, I'd like this to try to get her. To be... Oh my come. god! Things are about to get Ilya. nasty! Let's get them nasty! Don't get nasty Fire with me! I'm really using that meteor pump. At least she's still alive. That's pretty good. Things got pretty nasty there. Ilya used it so much, she's out of her magic power already. You can actually set it so they conserve their magic power, but then, honestly, I don't think she'd be able to defend herself at all if she was just using her brass knuckles alone. I'm pretty sure They're now that she's out of her magic power, she's gonna die in this fight. Oh crap, another behind us. I don't like it when big dudes with sharp things come up and try to poke me from behind. 
not appreciated. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, she lived. I thought she was about to go down. But look, I don't think Fia's taken one hit of damage yet. Excellent. Nice, she gained a level. That is excellent. I don't think Fia's been hit at all. She's just absolutely amazing. But anyways, I think all these fights are pretty similar, so I'm going to meet you at the next town. Moo. Moo, okay, we're approaching the next town. Let's get in there. It's a pretty big town, too. Well, here's Tatroy. You can use the waterway to reach Astral City. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I would have been nervous if it were just Roddick and me. You shouldn't be. Roddick's skill with a sword is plain as day. Don't compliment him too much. It'll go right to his head. Ilya! <laughs> well, I have my duties as a knight that I must attend to. So if you'll excuse me. And there we go. Um, she actually gives us some of her equipment. So, um, or we steal some of her equipment. Which powers up Roddick, which is pretty damn good. So, um, I don't know why it's not for Ilya. She's a girl. He's we're both girls, you know, it's all good. Anyway, instant treasure chest over here. What do we got? Resurrection elixir, which is pretty good because Fia's probably gonna fall a few more times. She actually, uh, not Fia, Ilya. And she actually did fall. And here we go, we're in a skill area again. I'm gonna earn some money along the way. Let's see if I can buy anything here. Um, let's see. We got only tw oh that's it we only got 2500 well let's let's buy combat and that's it I don't think we can afford anything else right now like I said skills will come in handy much much later old lady says now now there's no need to hurry the arena's not going anywhere yes the arena um, Tatroy and Astral City are like twin cities they're side by side and um, Tatroy is home to the arena, and the arena is something we're going to be talking about quite a bit. They are pretty much a staple of the Star Ocean series. I don't know if they're in other games too. I haven't made my Square Enix, but um, it's possible. Watching those fights at the arena gets my old blood pumping again. You can basically go into the arena. Oh yeah, the treasure chest, that's what we came for. You can go into the arena and you can, um, you can go through different battles. Um, for experience, they're all usually one-on-one -on -one fights, but you can, I think you can have, I can't remember if this game has tag teams or not, but you can usually power up your guys, and you can earn prizes there. I'm going to stay at the end just to uh, rest up, because Ilya fell in battle, so resting would be, would be good. Before we get back, back out on the road again, just can't wait to get back out on the road again. Did you sleep well? Yes, actually, I did sleep well. We're gonna head over to the arena. Where we can do some battling. And down this way, I think, is a weapon shop. I don't think we can afford anything, though. Well, now that's a food shop. Oh, yeah, upstairs is a weapon shop. Yes, here we go. Weapons. Can we afford anything good, though? Let's see, Saber, no, hmm, we can afford a Sinclair. Oh, no, oh, Sinclair is just better. We can't afford it, though. 2000 bucks. we only got $800. Yeah, we're a little poor right now, but we can. Well, we got just enough to give her hard knuckles. Hmm, is there anything else being sold here? Leather helmet, uh, that's not good enough. Round shield, no. That's about it, so we can come back for the sword later. I think she needs the knuckles more than anything. So let's buy her the knuckles. Good luck. Exactly, give her the hard knuckles. Look, she really doesn't have much defense. Getting her a shield and stuff like that, I don't know where we're going to find that stuff for her, but we'll try. Oh yeah, we're going to head to the arena. The arena's up ahead here. The roar of the crowd. What's happening? What is that place? 
That's the biggest entertainment venue in all of Astral. The arena of Tatroy. Skilled fighters from all over the world come here to go one-on-one -on -one against a variety of monsters for fame and fortune. Yep, they round up monsters and you have to fight them in the arena. The audience sounds like they're really into it. I might want to check it out later. No, not later. How about right now? Here we are, the arena of Tatroy. We'll actually explore this arena and get some stuff done here in the next episode. Until then, everybody, I'm Cal's Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, move!